up, you dude? This is Justin Booth, co-founder of WeGrassOrganics.com, and I'm here doing a video about the Wheatgrass Challenge. So, ladies and gentlemen, first off, I just want to say um, I'm happy that if you guys are watching this video, you're probably one of the ones who have stepped up to the plate to take the Wheatgrass Challenge, and you've realized that there's no quick fix to changing your life. Um, you know, there's no magic pill that's going to make you all better. Uh, there's no, there's nothing you can do to just instantly change your life. But there are a lot of great things, natural ways that you can really see a difference in your life by making these small changes. Um, and you know what I've what I've come to learn over the last few years: if you're going to take a pill, it's going to make you ill. And if you want to go to the natural way, then that's going to be okay. Um, and so what we've we've created here is this thing called the Wheatgrass Challenge. And what we're doing is challenging you to go on a somewhat of a wheat, uh, wheatgrass detox or wheatgrass influx um, over a two-week period. Now, for maximum best best results on the wheatgrass challenge, uh, it, it is strongly suggested to, to be able to do the wheatgrass challenge, uh, which is 60 ounces, six sheets, over a two-week period. You're consuming six to eight cubes a day, which is three to four ounces of wheatgrass per day. Um, again, when you're, when you're doing this, it's, it's also suggested that you do it first thing in the morning, uh, get it out of the way, or you know it, you can space it out through the day if you want, but uh, if you're doing this first thing on the empty stomach, you're gonna get all the enzymes, it's gonna go right into your system, it's gonna go right into your bloodstream, you're gonna have a great day with lots of energy. Every one ounce, which is two cubes, is equal to two and a half pounds of green vegetables. So not only do you eat, do you eat two and a half pounds of green vegetables in a day and a week? Have you ever eaten two and a half pounds of green vegetables first thing in the morning? You think coffee is strong? This is wonderful way to have a clear, clear mental clarity way to start your day and have an abundance of energy. Um, it also helps to curb your appetite so you're gonna be e uh, easier through the day uh, and not gonna have that um, that that feeling where you have your stomach eating yourself and you're not concentrating on what you're supposed to be doing if you're an office job if you're you know in, in contracting or construction or whatever you're when your mind is off what you're doing because you're hungry it, it's it's you know it, it's frustrating and you can't focus properly the other thing is if you're on the road what I suggest is take your six to eight cubes and get a um, a solid container like one of those coffee mugs put your cubes in there put your room temperature distilled water and you just take another bottle with you so you can keep drinking it through the day. So as soon as you finish the grass, if there's still cubes in there, add some more water, keep going. It's very, very, very refreshing and it's very, very good for you. Um, so it's strongly suggested that over the two week period that you do your best not to consume any meat at all. Um, it, it, you don't have to go that way, but if for the, the best results, especially if you're trying to lose weight and detoxify your body, you want to stop taking as many toxins into your body as possible while you're detoxing. And the amount of hormones um, and bacteria that's in meat and the time that it takes your body to be able to break down meat, uh, it, it takes a long time. And so, again, I'm not saying that you have to stop. Um, but if you are doing the challenge, you want to challenge yourself. So if you are a meat eater, then uh, stop eating red meat and just stay to chicken and fish. And if you're a person who doesn't even eat red meat and you just eat chicken and fish, stop eating chicken, just go to fish. Um, the other small modifications that I suggest throughout the diet is stay away from gluten and, and wheat, um, especially if you're trying to drop weight, especially if you're trying to drop weight or if you're, you're diabetic or um, have some of these type of ailments, uh, it's, it's imperative to do your best to stop eating wheat products. If you're going to eat something, eat rice or eat potatoes, but don't eat uh, in, like in, in a filler start or for carbs. Um, it's, it's just you're trying to make a difference in your body, you're trying to lose a lot of weight and you're trying to increase your metabolism and these are just not good for the body uh, in a natural sub, uh, uh, essence. So it, again, I don't want you to go and kill yourself and stress your body at something that you're not used to, but you would be amazed at the difference in just not eating meat for a two week period. Um, the other thing is if you're a person who uh, drinks, 
um, and you drink beer. My suggestion is switch over to a wine or perhaps vodka or something clear. Like I, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, it, it's suggested not to not to drink at all. But I'm not, I'm not trying to have people kill themselves in their lives or drastically change their lives. Um, the what I'm getting at here is if you make all a lot of small little changes over this two week period while ingesting your wheatgrass, you're going to see big results. But if you don't challenge yourself and you don't try and make these changes, you're going to see the benefits. You're going to see some energy. You're going to see some weight loss, maybe some inches uh, around the waist. But the the idea here is to challenge yourself. And after that two week period, then go have a cheat day after. You know, go go. You you don't have to continue doing this after your two weeks. But after your two weeks, then have yourself a cheat day. You know, if you want to have a burger or steak or you know, go back on to whatever it is you you were doing before you took the challenge now be warned if you do the challenge properly and then you go to have a steak or you have a burger your stomach's gonna hurt it happens to everyone that ha has done the challenge um and, and done it successfully without uh, eating meat or red meat for a two-week period and then with the wheatgrass flushing their system out and then, and then going to the keg or god forbid mcdonald's or something like that and afterwards be like oh my stomach hurts my stomach hurts because it's just because your body is is actually cleaned itself um now if you're on the wheatgrass challenge and you have any issues or you have any questions or concerns you can always contact me uh my number is six four seven three zero zero eight five six zero i'll leave the number down at the link below and um so some people might say uh when they're on the wheatgrass that they get they're getting their runs or they might have questions that come up while while, while things are happening to them um, or they feel changes in their body like or mentally or physically um, these changes mean that the enzymes which is a live enzyme are working all right that means that your body is having the effect of the chlorophyll and the enzyme and it's having effect in the hemoglobins which is increasing the red blood cells in your body, which is making all the different uh, effects and changes. So wheatgrass, um, it, it, if you look at the chemical structure of wheatgrass, the chlorophyll, and you look at the chemical structure of, of hemoglobin, like a blood, cell, uh, blood, they're almost identical except for a few little curves on the top uh, left-hand corner and some on the bottom, which, which met basically, in my eyes, in my definition, what I what I'm feeling, what I what I resonate with this is basically blood is is that of a human, and that's the the the, the imprint of the blood cell is that, and then when you flip it over into the nature or the human or sort of the nature from the human, then you have chlorophyll, which is the blood of the plant. So basically what I feel is that we're using the blood of nature's plants to be able to heal the blood of our human body. And, and I really resonate with this. So um, I, I, I wish you guys all the best um, and, and good luck at this challenge because it's changed my life. And that's why I created WheatgrassOrganics.com with Dean. I was like, holy cow, why don't people know about this? Why don't people talk about this? Why don't people spread the information? This has changed my life. Within three days, I noticed the difference. So um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, you can always call me 647-300-8560. Um, I'll do some other videos as well so you guys have an idea of how to open the bags, how to use the bags. And uh, as you have questions or cons uh, comments or concerns, pertaining to the wheatgrass challenge or anything to do with wheatgrass, then I will make videos uh, and post them so that I can have this information shared. Or if you have friends or family members or strangers that are trying this challenge, then you can refer back to these videos and share them uh, with the people that might be up to the challenge. So thank you very much if you've taken the time to watch this video. And uh, I look forward to doing the challenge with you guys. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Peace, love, light, and passion.